Last news is out of the Vatican. Pope Francis just named a pro-LGBT plus bishop as cardinal. Mm. Uh, so Pope Francis has announced that he'd be promoting 13 clerics to the rank, rank of cardinal. And among them, Matteo Zuppi, who's a 63-year-old Italian archbishop. Um, he, end quotes, encourages a neopastoral attitude that we must seek together with our LGBT brothers and sisters. Um, in an essay that was written... Uh, for a colleague's book, Zupi actually identifies that there is a bridge that needs to be continuous, that needs continuous building between the church and the LGBT plus community, um, who he describes as the people of God. Um, and, and I'm sorry, I'm going to have to stop there. This, this is so much BS. Okay, yes. this is so outrageous. Uh, and this is honestly so offensive. Um, not, not that it's bad to be offensive, be offensive, but this is... <laughs> This is just so much, uh, they, this is, they're using an entire community of people to pretend and so that they can stay relevant mm. and people lap this up. They can't get enough of it. Oh, look at this new Pope. Pope Francis is so amazing. Pope Francis cares about the people. He cares about the atheists. He says atheists get to go to heaven. He does blah, 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 blah. And now look at him with the LGBT plus community. Uh, and this is all just public relations. Okay. He is playing. I mean, anyone who, who believes in this BS is just playing in to the Catholic church. They're helping keep the, the Catholic church relevant. Yes. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, I don't know, Armin, how do you feel about this? Yeah, we don't accept anything other than the end of the Catholic Church. With, uh, with the history and the crimes and everything they committed, with all the things that they did to the LGBT community, you can't, you can't just, like, sugarcoat it right now and be like, hey, look at us now. No, 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 go fuck yourself. You guys are, you guys should be done. You, the Catholic religion needs to die. It's a disease. And this is a sugarcoating, just a PR stunt just to keep it relevant. And it, it's not hey. because, it's not because they decided to. It's because they're being forced in that position. They're being forced to that position because we're forcing them to become less relevant and they're desperate to remain relevant. And we shouldn't let them, we shouldn't let them use these methods to remain relevant. They should become irrelevant at some point. That's right. Yeah. Um, someone is saying, Atheist Republic, here's the question. What will his reception be at the Vatican? Also, this doesn't cover up what they've done. Uh, it might exactly. not cover up what they've done, okay? But... Um, it it, this absolutely is. This is this is a a rainbow bomb going off to distract everybody from what they've done, uh, and this is what they've been continuously doing. We want we want answers. We want priests to be held responsible for having sexual relations with children. We want names. We want to see people in jail. And what do they do? They come up with a summit saying, "Look at us." We're trying to find our own, the own people amongst us who are who are sexually abusing children. They named no names. They did nothing. But what it did was it allowed people to say, oh, look at them. Look at the Pope. Look at how they're handling things now. They're wanting change. They're bringing change. But no change came from that summit. And this is just more of their of their BS that they're doing to, to try to bring people together and bring people in, bring the LGBT community into this. Okay, um, when they're doing nothing to help us, when their churches turn our communities away, uh, when they say that we're going to hell for a living in our, in our lifestyle, but look at what the Pope's done. So they're changing. And this is just, it's, it's infuriating. That was perfect. I have nothing to add to that. That was perfect. Thank you, Ellie. Shobha, yeah. did you want to say anything? Well, I like I like, wanted to say that the Catholic Church, the Vatican, they don't care about our rights. What they care about is PR they're getting. Their survival. Their survival. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. also also about this in the live chat, in a live chat, Ethan R is saying that LGBT is a mental health issue. Well, it's not. Yeah. No, Ethan, Ethan it's is not it, about mental health. I think health. Ethan is a religious person. Is he, is he or not? I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, religion, actually, no. We are not. I was going to say religion is a mental issue, but no, uh, that's an insult to mental um, uh, mental health you know, patients, and we're not mental health experts, so no. But another godless atheist is saying, go Ali, yes, Ali, that was perfect, that was like, we need to clip that part out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that was our last news. Actually, let me read the top comment. The top comment is saying this is like McDonald's. Oh, Kozan is saying this is like McDonald's putting apples in a Happy Meal and pretending it's healthy. 
Oh, that's perfect analogy, actually. I like that. What do you guys think? Mm hmm yeah. yeah. All right, good. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.